A little boy went to his mom and said, Mom, for First Communion, I want a bike and make sure it's a red one. His mom looked at Johnny and said, Johnny, well, you know you haven't been that good this past year. So why don't you write a note to Jesus and see what Jesus says? So Johnny went up to his bedroom and to his desk and pulled out a piece of paper, and he began to write his letter. Dear Jesus, I've been a very, very good boy this year. For my first communion, please send me a red bike. And he folded it up, and he started to put it in the envelope, and he felt a little bit guilty. So he took the letter back out, he crumpled it up, threw it in the garbage, and he began to write another letter. Dear Jesus, I haven't been that good of a boy this year, but I promise I'll do better if you send me a bike, a red bike. And then he put it in the envelope and he went downstairs to his mom. And he said, Mom, do you mind if I go to church? His mother looked at him and said, No, that's fine, Johnny. You can go to church. And his mother thought, Wow, Johnny's going to go to church and pray to Jesus and ask him for forgiveness, and maybe he'll change his life. So, okay, Johnny, head down to church. And church was only just a little a block away from their home. So Johnny ran down to the church, and he opened up the big wooden door. And he looked inside, and he didn't see anyone. Nobody was there. And he went over to a statue of Mary, he grabbed the statue with his arms. He ran out of the church, and he ran all the way home to his bedroom, and he shut the door. And he set the statue of Mary on his desk. And he pulled out a piece of paper, and he began to write, Dear Jesus, I've stolen your mother. And if you ever want to see her again, make sure you send me a bike, a red bike, for my first communion. I made sure to check the church tonight before we began Mass and make sure that all of our statues of Mary are still here. For seven years now, Seven years, maybe eight years for some of you, Jesus has been knocking at your heart. Knocking. And tonight, boys and girls, you've opened that door. You said to Jesus, Jesus, I love you. I love you. First Dominicans. Thank you. Thank you for inviting your mom and your dad. Thank you for inviting your grandparents, your relatives, and your friends to this very special occasion. Because just in a few moments, I'm going to take simple bread. I'm going to take wine, and I'm going to say those words of consecration over them. And they're going to be changed, that bread and wine, into the body and blood of Christ. And for the first time in your lives, you are going to receive Jesus. What does that mean for you? What does that mean for you? That means that you are committing your life now to Jesus. You are going to be a representative for him as you receive him into your heart for the first time. Parents and teachers, I want to thank you. You've walked with these children 
you seen just a couple of months ago as they made their first confessions. They went to Jesus and they told him that they're sorry for all those things that they did wrong. And you've helped them to prepare beautifully for this sacrament. Look at your children. Look at your children. They're beautiful little souls. Their first communion tonight is to be a reminder to all of us, all of us sitting here in these pews who have received our first communion. It's to hearken us back to that day. For me, it was May 7th, 1978, 46 years ago, that I received Jesus for the first time. These beautiful children of yours, their beautiful souls tonight, will receive him too for the first time. And they're a reminder to all of us about what a witness we're supposed to be for Christ. Jesus tells us in the gospel tonight, I am the vine, you are the branches. You have to remain in me in order to have life. And what a beautiful gift Jesus has given us and the life he gives to us in communion. Boys and girls, this is a very special night for all of you, a day you will never forget because this is the closest, this side of heaven, that you can come to Jesus as he enters your heart today in holy communion. As you receive him tonight, don't forget to thank him for the beautiful gift that he's given you. It's more precious than a red bike.